Okay, today I got some work to do on this trailer. Um, if you look down under here, you can see I got worn spots here on all the axles. I see that one's almost touching. Seven bolts here. I do want to make some type of rubber stop. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do it yet. But what I do have is I have worn out shackles. So you can see here, you can even see the top. So I'm worn out in here, probably worn out on the bolts. Um, focusing, come on, focus right there. Yeah, so then I'm worn, worn out on the eyes and the bolts or the shackles. So I'm gonna be changing those out. So I had bought a set and I did the wet bolts. I wanna be able to lubricate them. And I bought a new set of the shackle straps. And I got them a little bit shorter. So hopefully I can gain a little more height um, out of this trailer so I'm not as close to those axles. So on these wet bolts that I bought, um, when I ordered them, I got them on eBay. And um, if you look here, they just spin right on. So they're all that way. Reached out to the guy. And so what he said, you know what, if you want, he'll give me a discount. Because there's supposed to be lock nuts on those. Give me a discount. And I'll just whack them with a the hammer. Uh, make a little divots on them so that way they grab. Should be fine. Is that on the screen? And um, because that is not good at all to have a nut like that on shackles. You do not want the shackles tight. When you tighten everything down, there's supposed to be free movement. You don't want it to be snug. So you want to be able to tighten this bolt down, have the free play, but you do not want that nut to back off down the road because that could be very, very bad. Okay, so I'm a little bit disappointed. Look at that. That's not just a little bit. That's quite a bit. I'll have to get new ones. Oh, man. I wasn't planning on getting them. I mean, I could put the bushings in, but the bushings ain't going to do much there. 
I think I think I just need to order new ones. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So I gotta get a new set of balancers. Oh man, but you can see, so it's funny. So this, these shackles were not too bad. A little bit of wear overall, all right. These bolts overall, all right. I think this might have been the main one on the balancer pivot point. You can see it's worn out pretty good. A little wear on this, oops, a little wear on this one. But you got this back one here, you can definitely see a lot more wear on the bolts. You can see a lot more wear on the shackles too. So all this will give me a little more height, especially with the shorter. Shorter shackles. I should I should be pretty good on that gap there, hopefully. Kind of disappointed about this. Oh man. Well, I guess I gotta buy new ones. I was like, oh, be perfect. Those other holes aren't worn. Just needs new bushings. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, let's get to work. So one thing I forgot to show you guys was the bushings. There's not much bushings left. So it was definitely due to be redone. And hopefully we get a better a little better lift off of those axles.